Welcome, creators and machinists. Today, we're venturing into the exciting world of the Omni 5-axis CNC router. Get ready to unlock unparalleled versatility, efficiency, and precision in your machining process. This video will guide you through the essential steps of operating your Omni 5-axis, from setting up your tools to initiating that satisfying whirring of the spindle. Measuring Tool Length with Electrical Tool Pro Insert the tool that you want to measure. Select the Jog mode in the machine operating area. Press the Measure Tool soft key. Press the Length Auto soft key if you want to measure the length of the tool. Or Press the Radius Auto or Diam Auto if you wish to measure the radius or diameter of the tool. Select the cutting edge number D and the number of the replacement tool saint. If you wish to check the cutting edges of the milling tool, then click Yes under Check Teeth Individually. If you require a tool offset, select Yes or Auto in Tool Offset. Enter the tool offset Delta V and select the direction and the axis. Press the Cycle Start key. This starts the automatic measuring process. When you measure the tool radius or diameter, measurement is performed with a spindle rotating in the opposite direction. The tool length, respectively the tool radius or diameter, is calculated automatically and entered in the tool list. Repeat for all your tools and save the measurements. Now press T1 as the second tool. Press M6, M30 code. The M6 code initiates a tool change. The machine will automatically move to the tool changer position and exchange the current tool with the next one in the sequence. Program End The M30 code signals the end of the program. The machine will execute any remaining instructions and then halt. Then press Start, before press Start, rotate the ratio to 50%. Confirmation Check the control panel. Verify that the tool change has been completed successfully and the correct tool is now in the spindle. An indicator light or message on the control panel often signals this. Manual inspection, if necessary if you have any doubts, visually inspect the tool to ensure it's the right one. Press the JOG button on the control panel to enter jog mode. This allows you to manually move the machine axis. Navigate to the tool measurement function. Selecting the tool and setting the measurement mode. Ensure the desired tool, in this case, T1, is mounted in the spindle. Locate the Select Tool option and choose T1 from the available list. The control panel might display the currently selected tool as well. Press Measure Tool, press Select Tool, press OK to confirm. Look for the Ratio or Measurement Percentage setting. This allows you to define the travel distance for the automatic measurement. Setting it to 50% means the tool will move half the distance of its full travel length during the measurement process. Initiating the automatic measurement. Press the start button to begin the automatic tool measurement. The machine will automatically move the tool up and down to a specific point based on the chosen ratio. Observe the process on the control panel. You might see progress indicators, measured values, or specific messages displayed during the measurement. Secure the workpiece. Clamp the workpiece securely onto the machine bed using appropriate fixtures. Ensure it's positioned within the probe's reachable range. An electronic workpiece probe is inserted in the spindle and activated when measuring the workpiece zero automatically. Measuring the workpiece zero. The reference point for programming a workpiece is always the workpiece zero. You can determine the workpiece zero on the following workpiece elements. Edge. Corner. Pocket and hole. Spigot. For automatic measurements. Only use the electronic workpiece probe, tool type 710-712. You must calibrate the electronic workpiece probes beforehand. In the case of automatic measuring, first position the workpiece probe manually. After starting using the cycle start key, 
the workpiece probe is automatically extended to the workpiece with the measuring feed rate. Access the workpiece zero function. Take example, edge measurement. Traverse the workpiece probe close to the workpiece edge on which you wish to measure and press the cycle start key. This starts the automatic measuring process. The position of measuring point 1 is measured and stored. Choose measurement strategy. Select the appropriate measurement strategy based on your workpiece geometry and desired accuracy. Common strategies include Touching a single point on the workpiece surface Touching multiple points to create a plane or features like edges and holes If satisfied with the results, save the measured zero position within the control software. This will establish the reference point for subsequent machining operations. Start machining the workpiece. Use the program manager to select the desired program. Select under NC, local. Drive, USB, or setup network drives the desired program. Press the select soft key. The program is selected for execution and automatically switched to the machine operating area. Press the Cycle Start key. The program is started and executed. Left button on the hand will allow you to choose which axis you want to control, X, Y, Z, A, or B. Rotate the hand wheel knob to move the selected axis in the chosen direction. The rotation direction corresponds to the axis movement. You can adjust the movement increment per hand wheel rotation using dedicated buttons or switches. This allows for fine-tuning the positioning of the machine axis. Simple face milling of the workpiece. You can use this cycle to face mill any workpiece. A rectangular surface is always machined. Selecting the machining direction. In the direction field, using the select key, select the desired machining direction. Same direction of machining. Alternating direction of machining. Procedure. 1. Dot select the machine operating area. 2. Dot press the JOG key. 3. Press the face milling soft key. 4. Press the relevant soft key to specify the lateral limitations of the workpiece. 5. Select the machining type, e.g., roughing, in the machining field. 6. Select the machining direction in the direction field. 7. Enter all other parameters in the input screen. 8. Press the OK soft key. The parameter screen is closed. 9. Press the cycle start key. The face milling cycle is started. You can return to the parameter screen at any time to check and correct the inputs. Press emergency stop button in situations where life is at risk. There is the danger of a machine or workpiece being damaged. Jog mode. The teach-in function can be used to edit programs in the auto and MDA modes. You can create and modify simple traversing blocks. In MDI mode, manual data input mode, you can enter G-code commands or standard cycles block by block and immediately execute them for setting up the machine. Auto mode. Reset button function, stop processing the current programs. And cancel alarm. If it does not work when you click reset and shows spindle unable, then press spindle start to enable spindle. Here it says press feed enable key, 
then press feed start key, alarm disappear. You can execute a program block by block with the single block function. Cycle stop. Cycle start. This section is traversing axes with rapid traverse override and coordinate switchover. Before you try to move axis here, you have to enable JOG mode. Then press any axis key, and press different direction key. Switches between the workpiece coordinate system, WCS, and machine coordinate system. If try to move axis rapidly, press direction key plus rapid key, then axis will move rapidly. This is all about the brief intro of Omni 5 Axis CNC Router Operation Guide. Omni's 5 Axis CNC routers are engineered for excellence. With advanced features like high speed spindles, robust gantry systems, and intuitive control software, Omni machines deliver exceptional performance and unmatched accuracy. Contact us today to learn more about our machines and how they can help you take your projects to the next level.